Uh, now, Snoop, Snoop, Snoop Dogg would fit perfectly into that whole situation. <laughs> yeah, and he still, that would be Cloud 12. Snoop. That's probably yes. <laughs> yes, Snoop, yes, Snoop Dogg is still carrying it on, boy. He carrying that Cloud 9. Yeah, he's up on 12, 13, yeah, Absolutely. 14, 20. He's on 2021. 20, That's right. <laughs> <laughs> he's off the clouds. That's right. <laughs> Beyond. He beyond the clouds. That's right. That's yeah, right. he beyond the cloud now. He doesn't sail past the cloud. But wow. uh, but uh, yeah, that that was that was what was happening. Now, now, as far as the Supremes were concerned, all of their music and records were very clean. Mm-hmm. You know, and it was very clean. No, you know, it was just straight, straight to the point. Love songs, and that's what got them over. Wow! Now that's how you had to start before you get to the cloud nine. You got this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You got, this, yep. then you got the other hugging and the loving, getting with the kissing, all that. You start with that, and then you get the cloud nine. <laughs> oh, oh you right, thin bad, thin bad. You just you just brought up a song that I wrote. I know that. I just, what, what, what song was oh, that? Oh man, you what song? Quit. Thin, thin bad oh, just said on. it. Hugging and loving, getting with the kiss and getting with the kiss and hugging and loving and chills I feel whenever you're here. It's Uh-oh. like you keep loving you Uh-oh. on and on. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm saying that was my thing there, Claudine. What? Yeah. On yeah, Claudine. On. Chills yeah, I feel. Yeah, that was. You're near. What? Yeah. <laughs> Curtis Mayfield. Curtis Mayfield. My God. Those were the days, my friend. So 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 you. So, uh, Matt, I'm sorry, Mary Wilson and the Supremes have been a a huge part of Black history, and we're celebrating Black History Month now. Mm-hmm. And it's just, you know, I, I never wanted to see, I never want to see my sister leave, but she's leaving right in Black History Month, which she had such a a major role in, 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 you know, and, in, and in represent black African American pe- people, man. So, uh, I don't know. It just hit me kind of hard la- last night, but I'm good. Cause, cause she want she wouldn't want us to keep going on and on and on and on and on. So here we are. So how did you add, how did you guys actually meet? Mary Wilson. Uh, mm-hmm. I met Mary. Uh, we were at one time. Uh, Gladys Knight and the Pips was on a tour down south, and Bear Gordy had just signed the Supremes and the Temptations, and the promoters put them on the show with us. And we were independent. We weren't at Motown at that time. We were we were from the streets. You know, and they were like from corporate America. But anyway, they were on the show with us. And uh, when we went on, uh, after we came off the Supremes uh, and the Temptations were standing in the wings watching us. And this is a little story. Uh, The Temptations at that time wasn't doing choreography like the way that the Temptations uh, were, were noted for. And after they saw us on the show, they went back to Motown and was telling Bear Gordy that the Pips, we're going to be like the Pips. So Bear Gordy hired our choreographer, Charlie Atkins, to come and be an artist development at Motown so that he could choreograph his Motown groups. And that's when we first met Diana Ross, Mary Wilson, and Florence Ballard. On that particular show, that's where we met them. We didn't know each other then, but when we went to Motown, we got to when we when we went to Motown a, a lot of let me see years later. Uh, that's when we got a chance to meet them and and have a personal relationship. And like I was telling you, uh, Mary had a a duplex in Detroit, and we mm-hmm. really got a lot closer then because we would go over to her house to to practice to rehearse. Wow. I have a question, Mr. Knight. Someone wants to know, how do you feel about newer artists sampling old school music? Well, I love it. Okay? Go on and sample me. 
because <laughs> I look at it like, yeah, sound, sound for me that keeps me alive with the new age with with the with the younger generation. So sample me, sample my music, sample what I say, and keep because they talk to each other. You know what I mean, Shannon? Right. The younger pe the younger people talk to each other in a language that I may not be able to relate, or or they may not be able to understand what I'm saying, but they'll understand what their peers are saying. So sample me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Put you in a different that cloud. Not yeah, cloud. that Put you in the cloud up there to keep your music going. <laughs> yeah, that keep, come come on. On a natural that. cloud. <laughs> yeah. That, 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 keep, that keeps it that keeps it alive, you guys. That keeps it alive. You're right. You're right. Just like That's Jane Brown. Funny. Yeah, just like Jane Brown thin bad. And, and Michael and Shannon. You hear all the Jane Brown samples? And it keeps yes. James, yes. it keeps James' spirit right here with us in 2021. And James is already right. upstairs. Wow. Right. So, so hopefully. Sample me. So hopefully. Yeah, they said, get that bag. <laughs> the audience is saying, get the bag. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Bubba, with, when it uh, comes to uh, Mary, I, now, you know, the. Of course, a lot of folks were really impressed with uh, with Mary's vocals, and they mm -hmm. said that that she had a a phenomenal voice. Can you t can you talk a little bit about her singing talents that that you know as you all collaborated over the years and as you interacted with her? Because obviously we remember Diana Diana being out in the front, you know, with the lead vocals in the Supremes and so forth. But, you know, for many years, I remember my parents talking about, but Mary Wilson's got one hell of a voice. And I don't think people, you know, recognize. And, you know, in our day, they would say, don't sleep on her. But, uh, you know, but they, could you talk a little bit about her, some of that stuff? Well, I liked uh, Mary being a group member because it takes a certain personality. Sure. I'll tell you, and I'm I'm speaking from experience. It takes a certain personality to be back there singing and putting your heart out and sweating and that whole kind of thing. And sure. when you come off stage, sure, everybody rallies around the lead vocalist. Right. You know, <laughs> so you have to have a mentality that be able to deal with that with your own, uh, you know, with your own personality and your own character. Sure. And, and 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 I think that Mary's voice, Mary had a had a uh, distinctive sound with her voice. Sure, that was never ex it was never exploited, in my opinion, at Motown. Sure, because uh, I, I just said because Barry Gordon them had a winner in the sound that they were putting out. Sure. Mm. So so why I mean business wise, why tamper with that? That's right. That's right. You know, and I think the same thing happened as far as uh, Gladys Knight and the Pips are concerned, mm -hmm. because I think William Guest had a beautiful voice. Mm -hmm. My cousin William, sure, but mm -hmm. you, but you never heard you never heard William. Uh, you, th there was no emphasis put on recording William. Uh, and 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 I I I I think that William and Mary had a distinctive voice that could have been developed. Sure. And what I what I understand, Mike, is yes, that sir. just recently, I think Universal signed Mary, Mary to a recording contract and was going to put out wow. some of her music that she had recorded. And wow. I think that was just recent. Really? I think that was just recent, man. Wow. So you may be you may be hearing from you may be hearing some Mary Wilson music uh, here really, really soon, especially since she's made a transition now. Sure. You sure. know how that works. Sure. Yeah, because I, you know, I was listening to this one. Remember this one? And of course, she. Now, of course, she had the she had the lead vocals on 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 our day will come and you, you know again 
when I saw the Supremes, you know, again, when I was a little boy, I was like, oh, wow, that doesn't sound like Diana. You know, so like you said, <laughs> you know, when, when people have these distinct voices and talents, and, yeah. and of course, the record label has a winning formula, they're not going to necessarily deviate from that. Um, but let me ask you this. With that being uh-huh. said, did, did you ever get the, the feeling that she may have been a little resentful of that or... Or just like, you know, how come they haven't recognized some of my talent and allowed me to take it to the next level? I don't really think so. I think Mary was really happy and comfortable in the position that she was in with the with the Supremes. Gotcha. Uh, because she was good at it. Right. And Mary mm-hmm. Wilson. No, let's 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 break it on down. Okay. Mary Wilson was the, Mary Wilson was the beauty. Yep. Come on. Because I was just thinking their looks aren't too much different than one another's, you know, so I I couldn't see why one wouldn't be in front versus the other one. Was Mary Wilson's voice stronger than Diana Ross? So that's why they wanted Diana in the front because she had a softer voice or. Okay, Shannon, this is Mm -hmm. what I understand. This is how I looked at it and this is how I understand. Diana Ross, my dear Diana Ross, and I love her too. She had a crossover voice that was sell to the white market. Mm. You hear me? Mm-hmm. And she was supported by the brothers and the sisters. Mm. So that's a winning combination right there. And once you get right. that sound, it's the it's the chem- it's the chemistry. Like, like. The Supremes had a, a sound and a chemistry. Gladys Knight and the Pips had a sound and a chemistry. Uh, the OJs. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can go on and on. The Temptations. Uh, you can go on and on. But during those hit record periods, there was a chemistry that people bought into. And, I, I'm, you know, you can't really say... Like 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 this show that's on right now, I'm going to jump over a little bit. Mm-hmm. But this show that's on right now called The Verses. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, act, now, my sister just went on Verses with Patti LaBelle. Mm-hmm. All right. That that we all know. Now, they would play one of Patti LaBelle's songs and they would play one of Gladys Knight and the Pips songs. Oh, OK. But, mm-hmm. but but check it out. They're two different kind of uh Pre- there are two different artists with two different kind of sounds with two different chemistries. So how are you going to say one is better than the other when both are good? And the Supremes, right. to me, now check it out, Shannon. The Supremes had a crossover pop kind of a sound. Mary okay, Wilson, yeah. Diana Ross, and Flo. Okay, check it out. Now, when you come to Martha and the Vandellas, you got a more of a street sound. Mm-hmm. You you got dancing in the street that that that's way more funky than anything that the Supreme made. Yeah, you, you know what I mean. If you play those two together, you'll see see the difference in them. But uh, Diana Ross and the Supreme, Diana Ross and Mary and Flo had that chemistry and that combination. That soul to across the board. Let me put it like that. Mm-hmm. Across the board. And that's what we all were looking for back in the day. We wanted to go across the board. And 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 uh Holland Doge and Holland wrote songs for Diana Ross and the Supremes that pushed them across the board. Let me put it like that. And the writers had a lot to do with that. Hmm. Do you, do you see any artists that are currently on the top that that give you any um, reminiscence, if you will, of of Mary Wilson? Uh, well, uh oh, sorry about that, you guys. That's okay. My <laughs> wife didn't. Kathy didn't catch that. Okay. Uh, a- <laughs> <laughs> she didn't catch that phone. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh, okay. Your question, Mike, is there, well, at one time, I saw uh, Destiny's Child mm-hmm. with Beyonce and them being that. Okay. When they, when, oh, yeah, when, sure. When, mm-hmm. when, when 
uh, Destiny, when Destiny Child 